After the successful launch of Chandrayaan-3, ISRO is gearing up to launch one more very crucial spacecraft. In fact, this joint mission by US and India is already making good progress in Bengaluru. Hi, this is Ela, and today I have brought to you important details of an upcoming mission by ISRO. This will be a joint mission of ISRO and NASA and will be launched in 2024. The acronym for the mission is NISAR, which stands for NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. NISAR will observe almost every region of our planet at least once every 12 days, providing valuable insights into the dynamics of forests, wetlands, and agricultural lands, among other aspects. The spacecraft consists of an S-band radar and an L-band instrument, with the latter having the capability to penetrate dense forest canopies. Both sensors are capable of collecting day-to-day -day and night by operating through clouds. The dual-band synthetic aperture radar will operate with the SAR technique to achieve large swath with high-resolution data. The SAR payloads mounted on Integrated Radar Instrument Structure IRIS, and the spacecraft bus will be together called NISAR Observatory. While NASA has developed the L-band radar, ISRO has prepared the S-band radar for the mission. NISAR will observe Earth's land and ice-covered surfaces globally with 12-day regularity on ascending and descending passes, sampling Earth on average every six days for a baseline three-year mission. This would be the first dual-frequency radar imaging mission in L-band and S-band. The mission will provide a means of disentangling and clarifying spatially and temporally complex phenomena, ranging from ecosystem disturbances to ice sheet collapse and natural hazards including earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, and landslides. This is expected to provide impetus to the fast-maturing microwave remote sensing applications in geosciences. The precision interferometric orbits of the mission will enable in mapping few millimeters of deformations in the land surface. The selection of lower frequency bands will cater to the need for better characterization of vegetation, which is vital for global carbon stock estimation and monitoring of carbon fluxes from vegetation. The NISR Observatory will be launched on the GSLV, expendable launch vehicle contributed by ISRO, and will be operational for three years. Thanks for watching in depth with ELA.